I'm the Magpie! Welcome to my video series where I try out really shitty uh, music gear. Today we are continuing with toys! This is a USSR Soviet vintage toy synthesizer that is called the Pipsynth. In my opinion, this one is a really cool looking, but it's a very shit sounding song. You win some, you lose a lot, I guess. But this is how it looks with uh, this camera. This is on off. The buttons are very funky. This is a vibrato. I guess it says that. And then you need to pick one of these, which is like octave. So lower and lower higher or super high. We also have volume and we have a tone control here. But what's really funky with this one is how flat these are. Like pressing this is really and then my new fucking random words here, but it, it's uh, not deep at all. It's ridiculously weird in the tuning. The power supply that it came with is uh, looking like this. And it's made by the previous owner. Don't plug both ends into your wall, I guess. That person has also uh, put a regular standard guitar cable-ish output on it. Instead of the weird old one it had to begin with. But it doesn't break the signal from the speaker. But the speaker sounds... Like a speaker sound? Like it's pretty big. So I like to mic it up, maybe. We're gonna see what we're gonna do here. First, however, I need to thank this video's sponsor. Which happened to be Mrs. Magpie, who sponsored me with some fireball! I need to... I mean... That's a cool kick drum, right? And if we don't have any of these voices turned on, it sounds kind of like this. But then we pick one of these. Let's go with the lowest. It's of course very mono. It goes super loud. Vibrato. And uh, as you can hear, like that's octave jumping. Right there. And since it's so flat, it's almost... That's how I like to play things that have like touch sensor things. Anyways, I'm not gonna do one of these making an entire track using only one thing thingamajingy type videos because the only one thing thingamajingy that I have is of course this one. And I, I wouldn't really be able to. I don't feel like it. I feel like starting up random projects and see if it can actually fit in something. <laughs> and maybe play two pedals and maybe mic it up. I don't know. Let's start a project first. This is the only shit that I've done on this project. Let's see if we can get this to fit in this one. And it's humming so much. <laughs> I mean, that's a sound effect in itself, right? Can you hear that lower frequency? It's the same on every. Let's do something with those keys that actually fit in this. Wow! Can we now EQ away those ridiculous low frequencies? It's at a delay! Now we go to the lower octave and we do the same thing on top of this. And that, that would be amazing, I promise. I really 
really wish I could find the right notes to put in like a bass. What happens if we go down an octave with this one? <laughs> Just for anyone interested, I'm playing a B and that's F. That's what it corresponds to, so... And it, it has a really nice dying sound, like the fart. Okay, let's do one thing before I do something else, and that's just turn on a new project and record uh, the speaker, like from the speaker instead, and see if that can be valuable whatsoever. Whoa, latency, here we go. This is a project that I did with Andreas. Maybe I can play whatever the violin plays. And then I will get all the cool clickies. And with just some EQ, we get this. Like it's funky because it's like snappy. But let's magically do a couple of more tracks. This is magic. Yeah! I like it, actually. It's an annoying song, but... It fits. Moving on, however, I wonder how it is to make it trippy. So if we grab something uh, like this instead... anything else. I haven't done much at all. Uh, don't buy it. L don't. Buy mine. Do you want it? You can have it. Maybe I can actually open it up and circuit bend it instead. First. I have doubts in my mind. It can work on batteries, but those batteries does not exist anymore. It looks like a short 9 volt battery. What the fuck? Oh yeah. Now we're fucking talking. Does that mean I can tune it? I don't know what I'm looking at. Somebody please tell me. What the fuck is this? Tataki? Or someone else? Do you feel like bending this? It looks cool. The speaker is huge. To be a toy that's like half the toy. So if you feel like you're the one to fuck with this, you let me know people. Reach out on the Magpie Pirates Discord, link in description, and you can have this. And if you want to, you can send it back to me to show, to market yourself. And will it be the marketing department of whatever thing you got going on and I will make a video on how improved it is. And that's where I'm gonna leave it. That's where I'm gonna leave you. And I will see you... You, you let me know when I see you next.